What is up everybody, Chris here. So, today we're gonna discuss about Werewolf and what I think is wrong with him and what we could do to improve him. And no, I'm not talking about nerfing him, he's not too powerful or anything. The problem lies with him being sort of a black sheep amongst the monsters. Pun intended, you know, wolves, sheeps. Yeah. What I'm saying is that he's sort of boring to play and really obnoxious to play against. As I said, I don't think he's too powerful. If anything, he's probably the second strongest monster to play against when you're starting out and probably the weakest in high skill level of gameplay. His true power lies with his snowball potential, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's just quickly go over all of his powers. The first one is called Berserk. After focusing for 0.8 seconds, the werewolf enters a Berserk state that increases their movement speed by 24% for 11 seconds. Berserk can be performed every 24 seconds. And of course, you have the mutations, but we're only gonna be mentioning the base power. Basically, it's a massive speed boost. The second one is called Howl. After focusing for one second, the werewolf lets out a terrifying howl, causing all living teens within 30 meters to cower in fear. Cowering teens are unable to attack or perform for most actions for 8.35 seconds. Howl has a cooldown of 28 seconds. Yes, basically you disable everybody's weapons within the Howl range. And the last one is called Hunt. After focusing for 1.5 seconds, the werewolf enters a hunting state for 25 seconds. While in this state, they will be able to detect the presence of any living teens up to 24 meters away via a heartbeat sound. That increases in frequency the closer teens are. Cooldown is 55 seconds. As I was saying, his true power lies with his snowball potential. When the match starts, nobody has a weapon. He goes around the map, finds one person, hits them, then speeds himself up and that makes it insanely hard for you to run away, to get away, to buy extra time, which you can against other monsters, he gets a very fast down. Now the three people who are on the stations, one of them has to go for a pickup or decide to finish crafting the weapon, but he does have a hunt which does make it kinda easy to track down another teen, who probably still doesn't have a weapon done, he goes to get a hit on them, maybe leaves them alone, speeds up, goes to another station to prevent somebody else from crafting a weapon, and you can see where this is going. His snowball potential when you don't have any weapons is insanely, insanely big. So the very beginning of the match against a really good werewolf is tilting as hell. And let's put another scenario, once you have the weapons, you do feel a bit strong. Just because if you know how to outmaneuver his howl, which is fairly easy once you get used to it. You can gain enough distance or you can have people spread out across the map well enough so somebody gets howled, the other person doesn't, they wait in an ambush, try to ambush him but considering his speed, it's really hard to get a hit off with most weapons because most of them are skill shots. If the weapon is not a one shot, he will have a solid chance of, you know, taking cover before we finish him off or whatever. So this can make matches pretty long in a boring kind of way, unlike when you play against Ward. Yes, he does the same thing, he has to wait for his leap, for his armor, so the matches get really, really long against him. But I feel like it's mostly tactical for both sides and you still have a good solid chance of outmaneuvering him 1v1 with teammates, uh, making an ambush. It all depends on how good the ward is, how good you guys are, and I feel like it's mostly just skill involved. With Werewolf, I don't know. He doesn't feel all that strong once you have the weapons, but it's still obnoxious to play against him. And of course, there is the most crucial part, which is his hunt ability. There's really no counterplay to it. You, yes, you can have a weapon and try to ambush him, but if he knows you're nearby, he can just combine it with the howl, disable your weapon, find you and get that free hit. Of course, there is a massive cooldown to it, 55 seconds, that's not a low amount of time. But again, his hunt lasts for 25 seconds. So let's say you start hunting you look for somebody for 25 seconds and even if you don't find anybody it's already on a 30 second cooldown and i'll say it again if he does find you there is really no counterplay to it wart and dollmaster their locating abilities do have counterplay they're not perfect and i don't think anything should be perfect in the game i think everything in the game should be strong but also should be weak at the same time as in yes it's good it helps you out but there needs to be something you can do about it. However, nerfing it wouldn't be a solution. He's weak compared to both Dollmaster and Ward in higher MMR. So how would nerfing him do us any good? If we want Werewolf to be more fun from both perspectives, I feel like we just need a rework on his locating ability. Maybe a complete rework? 
something different or maybe we could switch up how the ability works to a greater extent for example maybe the cooldown is now 25 30 seconds but the hunt lasts for only five seconds it affects the greater radius it's easier to pinpoint from a further away but the harder the closer you are i feel like that way you wouldn't be getting lost so often because as i said huge cooldown does harbor a lot of issues let's say you're 1v1 against Teen, and if he's on the other side of the map you use the howl there is no rift you don't manage to find him you have to wait another 55 seconds this way you would be able to find the teens more often but not pinpoint their exact location and i feel like that would be more fun to play against and maybe balance out a werewolf a bit more and before we finish i think there is one more balance change that we can talk about and that is his early snowball potential i want him to feel weaker in the beginning but at the same time i want him to feel more oppressive once we have weapons ready i'm not sure how this would affect his gameplay would it make him stronger weaker would it make him more oppressive in a good way and weaker in the early game but hear me out what if his berserk started faster but his movement speed buff slowly decayed i'm really not sure if that would be a good thing but for some reason it feels like a dope idea to me i'm not sure but you can let me know do you think werewolf needs a rework if so do you agree with anything that i said what changes would you make comment section is wide open use it as you will thank you guys for watching this video if you found it enjoyable and don't want to miss out on any future ones that i'll be posting please consider smashing the like button below subscribing and turning on the notification bell all that said wishing you all a beautiful rest of your day and i guess i'll see you in the next one See ya.